everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a card idea using the limited edition holiday 2014 card kit. I've created a shaker card using the elements from the kit in the shape of a wrapped candy. I have cut a panel of Nina White cardstock and I've used the die from the circle on a line die. I've trimmed up a piece of pattern paper to fit behind and also I'll be stamping my message using lipstick red ink. To create the shaker portion I'm lining up my cardstock now and I have the reserved circle that I've cut out and I've put a little bit of adhesive on the back side and I'll just press that down temporarily. The next thing I'll want to do is to start adding some foam squares and I'm going to fit these in really closely to each other. I happen to have gotten really lucky where they actually fit perfectly. So I'll squeeze those around the entire circle. Once I have all my foam pieces in place, I'll flip my panel over and add some adhesive just around the edges and a little bit in the center to hold everything in place. And I'll be mounting this onto a top folding white Nina card. I have cut out one of the paper candies and here I'm adding in my seed beads and I'm making sure that I have a good mix of the different sizes. And once I have my beads in place, I can go ahead and start removing the backing from my adhesive. I've cut a piece of acetate, which is also included in the kit, just to fit around that circle. And with all of my adhesive being exposed, I'll run my finger around just to make sure that I have a really good seal. If you notice how close my adhesives are in the centers, there is no way that my little beads will get out. So there's the beginning of the shaker card. The next thing I want to do is to add the sides of the candy to make it look like wrapped candy. And I have one of these cello bags. You could also use the clear bags from your stamp sets just as long as it's clear and shiny and not too heavy. So the next thing I want to do is to use my tape runner here and I'm just going to add some adhesive to the sides of the back side. I've crumpled up my plastic and I've used scotch tape to secure that to the back side. And I'll pull those through and secure them with glossy accents on the front. To finish things up, I've added more foam squares so the panel sits flush with the shaker area. And I've also added a few of the candies from Little Bee. I hope I've given you some card inspiration using the limited edition holiday 2014 card kit from Simon Says Stamp. Thanks for watching.